Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Van Buren in Clearwater County. And in today's episode, we are going to take this lovely university and get it up to a level five university. And the main reason we want to do that is we want to have access to some of our level five unlockables. So if we pop in here and we take a look, it's our School of Engineering. We do not have that right now. And this provides some absolutely amazing benefits for us that we'll talk about after we place the building. So right now, let's take a look at where our campus is. We are at a level three, which is really unfortunate. It all comes down to student population. So we're gonna have to do a bit of expansion to get our population back up and take a look at our policies. But before we get to that, I wanna talk a little bit about what we did on the stream. So in the previous episode, we worked over here on Johnson's Creek and got our financial house in order. We're looking good now. And right after that was released, I streamed a build kind of re-examining <laughs> some of the things happening here on campus. So we had two parking lots right here. We replaced that with a bunch of commercial buildings, apparently a commercial building that's on fire, which is really unfortunate because I don't know <laughs> that we have a fire helicopter anywhere near this. It's going to take a while to get to this or, or maybe you can come. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Right inside to take care of this. All right. So we have a little commercial center right here. We added cable cars in replacement of that crazy pedestrian bridge that we had going down. Then we added this uh, lovely station here, Victoria Station, and this provides access from Ashland to this lovely stadium. We have a whole bunch of pedestrian activity through here, and we moved one of the parking lot ramps right here. Got a lot right here, a surface lot, which could be used for tailgating. And uh, I, I think in general, it's made this a much more compelling build, a much more rational build, and I really like the way it's turned out. I hope that you do too. All right, so let's get into what we're going to do today. So really to get this to level five, we're going to have to overbuild it. Now, I, I hate that aspect of the game, but it just is what it is, <laughs> unfortunately. So the way that we'll level this up, we'll look right now, our student population is 824. So... To get this to level up, we're gonna build a whole bunch more dorms. And that's not the most reasonable thing to do. I don't think a college campus would reasonably say, you know, we need to become a better university, so we're just gonna add a bunch of dorms. That said, we don't have very many dorms right now, as it is. So we are gonna extend the university along the coast here, and we're gonna have some additional dorms along the coast. And we're really set up nicely for this as it is anyway. We have this stub right here, and we're gonna use this to create a pedestrian facility down. And we'll consider these some of our graduate dorms. So I think it'll be great. They'll have a beautiful view of the bay, and it will be fairly close to some of our academic buildings. So we've got a study hall here, and we've got our cafeteria. We're also gonna build a second cafeteria up here. We have some dorms up here, and it would be really nice if we had the ability to go and eat rather than in, in close proximity, rather than needing to take cable cars down to get some food. Not really rational to have it this far away. You'd probably see two cafeterias. So that's what we will do. So let's start out and I'm just gonna steal that building. I'm gonna throw anarchy on because we're gonna add a couple of these. Make sure we do not have our tree anarchy on. We don't want that. And we'll just add a few of these down here. I'm gonna leave a gap there so that we can add in our pedestrian connection. And then we'll have some dorms. I'm likely going to pull some of these together. And obviously these aren't at the correct height right now. Let's move that to terrain height. So let's take all of these and set them to terrain height. Ideally, maybe we would have done a bit of terraforming, but even, even you know, I'm, I'm not even sure that ideally we would have. And the reason why is I like the idea of this kind of sloping down. So what I'm going to do is move these together and try to get them to round the bend. And then I'm going to take the road and align that to the heights of the building. So what I'm doing here is just coming around, spinning these up, and then I'm, I'm actually raising some of these because of the building itself so that we don't have any overlapping roofs. That is great. That I like that a lot. So now I will control H, set this to this height. Let's do the same here. Here, control H, height. Just line these things up a little bit. 
Now, right now, there's not a ton of utility in this, but we're about to add a whole bunch. So we're gonna grab our pedestrian facility there. What we're gonna do is send this back up this way. And then I wanna loop around. I think that we're gonna have to loop around to make this work. So I'm gonna turn angle on only. And obviously that is not high enough. So we're gonna need to take these, raise them up. We're gonna call a bit of a mulligan on this highway and actually lower this down just a little ways. Get that right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. I am not sure what the terrain height's gonna be like. We might need to have a little bit of a loop and then come back down. That's where I'm leaning towards, but I think it would be foolish not to try it out to see what the angle looks like. Maybe it's not terrible. It would need another pillar through here, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I just want to use node controller now just to see. Actually, we'll, we'll use the slope terrain tool. I just want to see how steep this is. Yeah, we're looking at 15%. That's, that's really, really steep. So the only way that we can fix that is to loop it around. So we'll do that. That's not a big deal. Enough is enough! I have had it with these mother... Sloping ramps. On this mother... Sloping campus. Everybody strap in! About to go turbo on these ramps. Okay, so this was one heck of a process. It was way more work than I thought it was gonna be, but all good things take work. <laughs> so uh, the reason why this was so difficult, I'm gonna turn this to a bend so we get rid of that, uh, is that basically these were gonna overlap if we were gonna have it be reasonable. So a lot of the work went into making sure that these didn't connect. And now if we take a look at our slopes, let's take a look at what we have. I think it's still pretty steep, but I think it's considerably better. And we're at 5.8, which is still way more than I'd like it to be. Uh, but I don't know that we can do much better if we take a look here. Ooh, actually we could. All right, we're, we're gonna take this down a little bit more. Okay, 5.4, it's still very steep, but it's it's a little bit better. And at this point, we're just trying to do what we can. So I would assume that there would need to be a shuttle as well. This is probably a location where you would, you would look for something like that. This is also kind of broken uh, because of what I've done here. I'm gonna just delete what I've done, so let it have its own thing. The main reason I've even added this is I wanted this pillar here. I don't know if that was even helpful. So I'm gonna eliminate that pillar. We'll just slide this node over. No, we won't. We're just gonna live with a... No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that's as, as good as it's gonna get. So we'll just have to deal with a bit of imperfection there. There we go. We'll, we'll turn that to a middle and that seems to make it a little bit more rational. It's still not perfect it's not beautiful but it's it's functional so we're gonna live with it so now we have all these dorms down here let's see what that's done to our population my guess is we've jumped we've shrunk that is wild dorms are completely empty let's speed this up for a minute and see if if, if uh, anything that we've done has helped well it hasn't what we could try doing what might help us a bit and it looks like our attractiveness actually went down even a little bit. Let's go and look at our policies. We need more kids going to school. So we need to encourage education, have an education boost. So we'll add that and that should considerably increase the number of students we have going here. We should also take a look at our education pipeline and just make sure that from the standpoint of elementary and high schools, we've got enough capacity and we don't. We're, we're, we're actually low on high school capacity. What that's telling me is I either need to boost the budget to just cover this or add another high school. Now, over in Ashland, we've got a lot of uneducated kids. And I'm wondering, how's this one looking? It's totally full. 
I think that there you could make a reasonable case to add another high school in Ashland to cover this. What we are going to do though, rather than getting wild and adding another high school, we are going to go ahead and just increase our budget a bit. So that's one of the things that school districts often need to think about. And I've, I've spoken with people from school districts. They're looking out at the population projections 10 or 20 years in the future. And if you can't see that there's going to be a major increase in the population, you're not going to build a new school. So if there's a referendum to, to build a new high school in your area, you can bet that they are talking to demographers and seeing that there's going to be growth in your community. And now we're almost at an equilibrium, so we're, we're okay there. So for our university, what this has done is we've dramatically increased our student population. We now have some more dorms back here, and I want to clean this up a bit. And I'm thinking about an asset that I want to bring over here. We have these lovely barriers on the side of the highway, and I can't 100% recall where they were. Ah, right here, right here. So I'm going to clone this for just a moment. And then what we're going to do is use our parallel road tool. And I want to run that along the highway here. And there we go, right along the highway. Maybe not the most necessary thing. And this is actually backwards, so we're going to select this and invert it. There we go. And then I want to add some trees back here, so we'll block some of that highway noise, because that would be very disruptive. So let's just find a few nice, large, bushy trees. There we go. So at least if you were in the dorms, I mean, you're going to see some of this, but it's not going to be quite as bad. Now there are, there's a lot of cliffside textures here. We could certainly add rocks to make that a little bit nicer. We could also pull the buildings forward a bit. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to be okay with it for the most part. But what we're going to do is add a bit of landscaping down here. So now we have two rows of trees to kind of block that. And truthfully, we could probably go with one more row. just to provide some of that separation. And I'm gonna move a couple of these trees because they got a little bit high there. And oh, they're floating, that's not good. There we go, we've just lowered those down a bit. And we've got a little bit more over here that we didn't really address. So we will handle some of the tree placement over here as well. Leaving a little bit of a triangle there so that if you pull up, you'd be able to see under the highway because the last thing you wanna do is come through here and not be able to see. Uh, we should also block this, and I think what we're gonna do is add a juniper or all the way around this. So we can pack these in pretty densely. Nah, that's not good enough. <laughs> we're gonna want that to, we'll, we'll take the spacing down and really pack those in. It's really Arbor Vita or Juniper that you can use for this sort of screening. Because you're definitely gonna wanna screen from that. That is not an attractive use there. There we go. So just a little something to, to liven this up a bit. There we go. So you'd imagine that this would be a fairly popular place for some of the grad students and undergrads to be. You're not really close to a lot of the campus amenities, but you are close to the beach and you have an excellent view, very secluded and uh, it would feel very, very private. So there we go. Now here we're seeing, oh, all right, look at our student population just exploding, which is great. I wanna add in some of the details to our university that maybe we haven't been able to do um, as we've built this out. One of those details is gonna be a medical campus. That's one of the few things that we haven't added here so far is anything related to medical. So I'm gonna add collision back on for the time being, and we're gonna add in some hospitals. So I want to go with this general hospital, and so we'll say that this is the campus hospital. We're going to add that here on this arterial, and we're going to need to screen this because this is going to have a lot of light. So this is from our J Japanese content creator pack, and I really like this asset. So yes, it is it has Japanese characters on it. We're gonna we're gonna deal with a bit of that. That's that's not the end of the world. I'm just modifying my road control H and pulling this in. 
And we're going to have a medical laboratory here as well, right next to it, as long as we can fit that in. I think, I think we should be okay. And one of the things that I like about this, the idea of this being here, is that we have this extra surface parking lot if we had to use it. So that's, that's a benefit to this location. And it's close to campus still. So I am pulling up some of these so that we have some, some heights that make sense. And then we'll back some of this out. And then we need to adjust our slopes again, because I've definitely gone through here and broken all the slopes. And that's still very steep, but I think, think it'll be doable. Although, <laughs> we have some issues right here that we're gonna need to resolve. There we go. And I'm just holding down Alt as I'm moving these nodes to try to space them more appropriately and get them away while still maintaining nice curves. And you can see it's done a very good job. For the most part, everything looks really, really good. And now I can finesse it a little bit on my own. There we go. And now I can I can sleep at night. <laughs> the way it was looking before was kind of a nightmare, so. And one of the things I don't think I pointed out in the beginning of the episode is we did add considerable bus service through here, looping around the campus and providing access to a number of destinations. And look at that. We have got our academic level report, got our sponsorship deals. So we're going to do that to make some more money on the campus. Our student population has swelled 1,540, which is almost what we need to get to level five. So feeling very good about that. We're going to slow down and we will focus on that as soon as we get this in here. So I want to add a bus stop in front of uh, the hospital in particular. So now it's within the paratransit service area and people can get to work. And we'll just terminate that there. So I would assume that these folks are not very happy. That said, the university owns this housing. So what they're going to do to manage this, this concern that we have here now that we have some pretty disruptive views here. The one thing that I don't love is the laboratory in particular doesn't really have parking. And we're, so we're utilizing the hospital parking for all of that or expecting that everyone's coming up and schlepping their way up the hill, which I think is pretty unreasonable. So we're going to need to do something about that. Okay, so I'm adding a road back here and we're going to add in a small remote parking lot. Uh, so it's either a parking lot or a parking ramp. And what I think we're going to say is there's a lot right here. There's a lot down here. This is a big facility, but we're trying to encourage transit utilization. And, uh, you know, one of the most powerful things in your arsenal, if you want people to, to take transit, is to not build enough parking. <laughs> So that, uh, or I shouldn't say it that way. It's not not build enough parking. It is not overbuild parking. And I think that a lot of communities, particularly in the U.S., fall into that trap. You just build a ton of parking and then you go, why is no one taking transit? Well, why would they? I mean, you've built so much parking that there's no need to take transit if you have your own car. So why wouldn't you? It's so much easier, particularly if you're uh, working off hours and strange schedules or whatnot as as a nurse might or a doctor might or a lab tech might so i can get three in here but i can't get four and i can see that already i really wanted to get that that fourth lot in here but it's just not going to work There we go. So just a little bit of work here to make that line up so that things look a little bit better. Uh, we're not perfect on our heights yet, so I'm going to do a little bit more work to see if I can make this a little more perfect. And sometimes you've got to know when to let good enough be good enough. And I know that I'm right there. So what we're going to do is just add in some trees. We'll try to mirror what's happening over here already and just kind of randomly sprinkle them back through here. We want this to be a pretty significant barrier. And then we'll mirror that same thing here. I think we could also expect to see a coffee shop or something of that nature 
in this general vicinity. So let's see if we have a Starbucks. Well, we got Sherlock's, which is good enough. <laughs> I don't really know what that is. And the main reason I'd expect to see something like this is there's some synergy with the hospital itself. You'd expect that you, uh, if someone's at the hospital, they might need, you know, for, for guests, the ability to pop out, grab a bite to eat, grab something to drink, whatever. We'll add a Culver's as well, just for good measure. At least the neighborhood can get behind that. And we could probably even use a gas station. Uh, that said, we're not going to litter the campus with gas stations and things like that. Especially, I mean, this is already kind of a, a tough pill to swallow for some of these folks over here. And then we're going to take these, grab them, control H, and take that to hospital height. And it already is, so we're good. Now, I'm just going to pop back through here and make sure that our brush is cleaning up some of this. There we go. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So now, if we pop on through here, you can see that from this level, we've got our campus laboratories and hospitals, place to grab a bite, to foo a bite of food, and then behind here, we've got some of this campus housing, which, you know, there, there's some noxious uses here that maybe they wouldn't be very excited about, but at the end of the day, they've got housing that's included as part of their tenure package, so it could be worse. That's worse. <laughs> so <laughs> there's lots of things. And that's the push and pull of living in a city, living on a campus, lots of things like that. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna roll with it. So let's look at what it's gonna take to get us to level five now. It's our campus attractiveness. So before we get to the end of our academic year, we need to increase the attractiveness. So I'm gonna take a look at the Paradox Wiki for this, and I would highly encourage you to do it as well. Okay, so looking here, we can now see what a variety of our buildings uh, add to our attractiveness. I sorted it by attractiveness level. And what I see is that our Trade School Academic Statue 2 uh, adds more attractiveness than basically anything else in the, in the game. In fact, so it, it's really this right here, our Gitchy Gaming Commencement Office, that adds 100 attractiveness, and then the Academic Statue 2 does the same. Then we start to dip down into 75s and 50s. Uh, so if we added stuff that was 75, we would need nine buildings. So that's a lot. And we have a constrained space. So this is our Academic Statue 1. Academic Statue 1 as 75 attractiveness. I want to see number 2. And interestingly, we don't unlock, unlock that just yet. So we are kind of stuck with what we have. We're going to just add in a number of statues. And it's good because we have pedestrian facilities that we need to add. And that's part of the reason why we don't have this looking as nice as it could right now. So why don't we add a couple of those right here. We'll straighten those out and add some pedestrian accommodations. We're going to add in that cafeteria. So the cafeteria is, I believe, 70 attractiveness. So that helps us up here as well. We can add that just around the corner. So I think we'll just kind of add that at the edge here. Let's see what that does. That's no good. We'll relocate that, spin that around, and bring that right over here. I don't want it to d d disrupt this building too much. Looking good, looking good. And now we are getting closer. That should have added 140 onto it, the roughly 650 that we needed. There are a number of other things. Let's take a look at what we have. So down here, we've got a book club. That's 75. Let's make sure that we have all of our clubs on campus. I don't know that we do. We may have the book club and that's it. So let's add some more clubs. So we've got our IT club as well. We will add that right up here. We've got a little bit of space next to a dormitory. So we can add in our IT club up there. And so I would love to add some buildings up here, uh, like an observatory. We're gonna do that, but it doesn't add to our attractiveness. So that's not gonna help us right now. You can see that we don't need all that much more. Let's straighten these out. What I've basically done here is added a bunch of path connections to connect up with existing facilities and then some just for mirroring. And I want that to kind of feel like this over here, but rather than using park life buildings, we are going to use some of the trade school fountains and things of that nature. 
and I might actually need to get rid of some of these connections to make them work, and that's quite all right. Now, I don't love exactly everything that's happening here, so we're going to get rid of some of the paths here, and what I think I want to change, uh, the, the biggest thing is we're going to use some of the self-leveling paths. The main reason for that is when we take a look, there's just a lot of terrain stuff happening here. Now, the problem is it's going to break some of my connections, so we'll need to do a little bit of work there, but it, it, it's not something that's insurmountable. We can figure that out. And I actually like the way it looks a lot less. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those funny things. Okay, so I want to see what that's done for us because I don't want to get too far on decorating and miss our attractiveness level. We're just a couple of buildings away. We're going to decorate this out, but we're going to get this to an attractiveness level that will allow us to level up. But we've got a lot of work to do here. This looks pretty rough right now in my opinion. In fact, I might just want to get rid of some of these connections through here and try to clean it up a little bit. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. So there are other places where we could add targeted pedestrian connections and add in some fountains along those connections. So we're going to do that right now. So here's one that I've been eyeballing. So that's not an ideal connection, but for certain people, this will be a significantly faster connection and their preferred way of getting around campus in this area. So let's provide that option. There's no reason for this extra space along the side of the building here besides that the game likes it. And now it opens up the opportunity for us to add something over here. As much as I hate doing this, I think we're going to add a couple more of these clubs over here. They're just small buildings that you can kind of work in. Bring those down. We're going to need to clean up the terrain a bit here. And I might actually relocate this one over here. It'll be a little bit easier to work with this than trying to cut into the hillside over here. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's something. And that leaves us just a little bit away again. We are just one or two buildings away. I'm gonna look at our policies and see if we can just meet it with our policies. So universal education will get us there. We'll keep it for now. We'll have sponsorship deals and hopefully our budget stays relatively okay. Now we've reached all of our thresholds. All we've gotta do is maintain this for a little while and we should be fine. So I'm gonna speed this up and do some decorating. And what I'm gonna do is kind of cut off some of these connections because I think I've, I've overdone it on the path connections. I'm a bit happier with this. I, you know, it, it's difficult sometimes to, to see. Wow, we've got some queuing there. We need to look at our bus routes. It's difficult sometimes to figure out your, your perfect landscaping. And, you know, I'll probably revisit this at some point in the future. I just, it feels a little bit off today. And I don't know if it's just me today or something. I mean, the roadway network here is not symmetrical. So that can also throw me off a little bit. Uh, but we're not going to get too fixated on it added a couple of connections through here and really that's what we wanted to do make sure that there's more ways to get around not just one way funneling everyone everywhere to that one funnel point uh, i also while we're waiting on the university which is really close i want to tighten up a couple of these and i just heard a, a couple of times in the comments that you know with these gondolas you'd expect them to have fewer jogs in them there we go. Level five. Oh my goodness. That was a trick. That was a trick. So we get our school of engineering, our trade school academic statue too, our media library and our technology museum. Also beach volleyball club. So whew, we're there. <laughs> so It took a little while, but we're going to get these things worked in. Let's slow it down. We can breathe for a minute and we should. So this is the most important thing. Now, one of the reasons why I care so much about the School of Engineering, first of all, increases the attractiveness of the campus, increases the student capacity, but it increases all generic zoned industry income. 
and reduces the city's water consumption and sewage. So it's a very important asset, as are all of the, the level five buildings. We're not gonna add this in the university itself. We are going to incorporate this into the grid of our community and spread it out and add in more buildings. So sometimes you'll have buildings like this where uh, it's on campus, but a little bit off. Truthfully, I think the campus might look to buy multiple blocks of the city, knock down these and add in their, their building. So with that, the city is gonna be restrictive uh, but I could see right here potentially being an excellent location for that. And we are going to do just that. We're going to take out multiple blocks of this. Now this would be, from an expense standpoint, relatively affordable. Because there's a lot of single family homes, older buildings here. Uh, not particularly historic buildings. So as long as they would consolidate this kind of under the radar, they could certainly go about it. Now we've got to bring our university down here, so we'll do that. And that's just temporary. I'm going to figure out exactly how to lay that out in a little bit. And I'm going to place this with Anarchy on so that I could figure out exactly how much of my city that I need to demolish. <laughs> so you can see that we've got to go a bit further. Part of that might just be pulling this in, maybe removing some of this parking or modifying the street grid a bit. It looks so close right now. I really would love to just work this in and have it fit right into this area. And I really like that. So what we're gonna do is we'll leave that and then we'll come back through here and dock this back. So this would be very expensive to take just this little bit of space here because it's all very high density. And we've lost residential as part of this, which is going to be something that we're going to expect that the university helps rectify. Now with this, we could redo the street network through here. And I think that that's what we're going to do to try to recoup as much as we can. So let's look at what we have for other university buildings that we've unlocked. We've got our academic statue too. That would, is certainly something that we can add in back here. Beach Volleyball Club will go in by our new dorms. And then we've got a media laboratory. Let's take a look at this. Get that to be the right height. That's way too high. Super cool. I love this asset. Uh, in fact, we turn this around. And I wish we didn't have that, that grass bleeding through. I wonder if I can... There we go. That looks so good there. So nice view of the water from that particular club. And then we've got our media laboratory. Another asset that we're going to want to take... So let's see the size of this bad boy, because this is pretty large. I wonder if we could fit this. No, it's way too big to fit over here without taking more of our buildings. And I might actually just do that. This whole area needs to be fixed and we're gonna have to manually plop some buildings. So extending our campus out a little bit deeper into this area is gonna be completely fine. Okay, so I wanted to figure out exactly where I was going to line this up before deleting the rest of this. The main reason is it's going to be really difficult to get this road perfect after I had this building here. Now that we've got this here, we're in a pretty good spot. And what we're going to do, we're going to break this grid up again once more, eliminate the homes through here and add in duplexes, which I think would make a lot of sense. I could see the city uh, zoning this for Duplex is allowing increased densities in this area. And it looks like what has happened right here? Our small playgrounds burned down. <laughs> we'll get that repaired. So we've got some duplexes right here. And what I'm going to do is just grab these and clone these. So we'll duplicate that in place. And I should have only grabbed one blocks worth, but it'll work over here. And then I am going to just grab this, duplicate this, spin this around so our fronts are facing, and then just add a couple of these in. Now, I don't love plopping, but I, I do, I don't mind plopping when I've grown them in <laughs> initially, which might sound silly, but I guess for me, it feels better. I think we're going to leave this open here, and this will be a bit of green space. It's the kind of thing you don't often see in these kinds of areas. 
but they're very special spaces if you do have them. So we're gonna absolutely take advantage of that. And then I wanna remove some of this zoning just to make sure that things aren't pop plopping up through here. So there we go, looking good. So let's finish this off. We're gonna add in just a nice path through here. And even though it overlaps a bit, I'm okay with it. I think it's gonna be just fine. And then through here, just a couple of small lindens. We'll line that right up through here. And we will consider this area right here part of a dog park or something of that nature. Folks could come through, throw a frisbee, let their dogs off leash a little bit. And no one says much because it's a nice tight knit group of neighbors. And uh, that's, that's the, the kind of thing I'd expect to see in this area. So this would bring the campus into the city a bit more which you tend to see with these big campuses that they just they are one and the same with the city and since it's the premier school of this particular campus it would make sense to give it a premier location especially considering this would be built later there's just not a lot that we can do up by the campus itself the, the, the old part of the campus we're gonna have to add in something a little ways away where we can consolidate some land that's maybe a little bit more favorable for building this kind of a building. And I think one of the things that the university would weigh is what is more expensive? Building on the hillside, carving into the hill, or redeveloping part of the city? And in this particular case, it might actually be cheaper to redevelop part of the city. So that's why we're going this route. All right, so I really, really, really like that. I think that it adds a bit of character to the downtown area. And we've added a lot of, a lot of buildings. <laughs> we had a massive fire. Uh, we've added a lot of buildings outside of the old campus area and really spread the benefit of this campus around. Now, I do want to go through here at some point and really take a look at some of these buildings block by block to make sure that we're looking good. We're gonna pay a lot of attention to what's happening in Van Buren and in the rest of the Van, the rest of Van Buren, uh, the other side of the capital, as we move over there in the next episode or two. So uh, I think that uh, things are looking good, but I do wanna check on one thing. Did we get in the office? No, <laughs> we're not getting any office. Some point we will. We have dropped population a bit because we've removed housing, so that's gonna be something we need to focus on soon. With that, I do think we need to zoom in and have a brief city tour. Now it's night i just wanted to take a little a moment to admire the way that the city looks at night now it just looks and feels a lot better can you imagine living in this neighborhood in one of these duplexes as a college student this is where everyone would want to live they'd probably be very expensive uh, or you'd have a lot of students <laughs> living in here but it would be an absolutely fantastic place to live you don't get the views of the water but you walk out here and you get them right there you'd be able to come down here and check that out beautiful not sure why the lights went out there. I'm hoping it's not power. Let's let's double check that. It is power. That's no good. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of a power situation. We'll come through here and crank that up just a little bit at night in our budget. Never a bad thing to do that anyway, because you do use more power at night. Okay, I couldn't be threading the needle any closer, so we're gonna boost it up even more. Now we've got some overhead. And I wanted to take a look at our dorm area. 
looking good there. That just that, that wall of buildings along the coast. To me, feels good. Play a little beach volleyball. The one thing that's unfortunate about the location of this building is you can't see the water from the volleyball, but that's that's okay. And then you come up through here, and we've got all of this pedestrian activity. We've got some transit tweaks to do in this in this area. We've got a lot of work to uh, continue to do in Van Buren, but I feel like we're moving in a really really fun direction. And uh, I think this would be a, a campus that Superior could really be proud of. I think that we've done some good things. Anyway, with this, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. We've got a five-star campus, and it's time to move on from this university. It is, in my estimation, one of the better ones that I've built. I really have enjoyed this one, and uh, it just kind of it just kind of shows you sometimes stepping outside of your comfort zone and adding in a bit of terrain difficulty can make it for a really good university. One of the things that I know is probably going to be a critique is I have not added very much parking here, uh, and that's certainly something that down the line I will add. I have picked up some parking assets, and I've thought about that. Uh, it's just, it's one of those things where I, I hate littering up this whole place with parking, even if that does make it more realistic. There's sometimes that it's just, it's nice to deviate from realism. We've got a small parking lot. We've got some. <laughs> So, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. I really can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.